nighttime clashes in Mariupol. <laughs> Pro Russian separatists throw petrol bombs into a Ukrainian National Guard base. Troops inside fire shots. Around a dozen people are injured. At least one received treatment for a stomach wound. The Interior Ministry says three people died. They are the first deaths to be acknowledged by the authorities in Kiev since the Ukrainian military's so-called anti-terrorist operation began. The commander of this base is responsible for what happened. He did not agree with our attempt to negotiate. He accused us of being terrorists and after, the shooting started. In Kiev, a different version of events. Terrorists attempted to storm the base. They aimed to seize weapons and military vehicles. 63 have been arrested. Angry crowds surrounded armoured vehicles yesterday. Here, a woman blocks one. The Ukrainian government's attempt to reassert at least some control in eastern Ukraine looks to be in tatters. President Vladimir Putin. In Moscow today, Russians had the chance to phone President Putin live on TV. He told viewers Kiev was responsible for the chaos in Ukraine. They moved tanks and aviation against civil, civilian population. This is another very serious crime of current uh, rulers of Ukraine. The diplomatic focus has now shifted to Geneva and negotiations between the US, EU, Ukraine and Russia. The West is threatening more sanctions against Russia, which it blames for the unrest, something Moscow denies. Hopes of a breakthrough are slim. In Donetsk, government buildings remain under the control of protesters who say they're not going anywhere unless this region gains more autonomy. The new leaders in Kiev seem to be in an impossible position to fight a battle they probably can't win or to give in to pro-Russian demands. Duncan Crawford, BBC News, Donetsk.